Hello, hello, hello everybody, welcome back to more of the Evil Within 2. Right, let's make things go kaboom. In the last episode, actually, recap, we headed back into the Marrow with the instructions of Torres. And we looked for Yukiko, the girl behind us, but we could not find her. We got her on our communication and found out that she had followed O'Neill, if you remember from quite a few episodes ago. Well, pretty much the first Mobius member we met. And he'd entered the Marrow, but it turned out he was no longer O'Neill. He had been transformed into like a little human-ish, but kind of like a monster on his way to becoming a monster by Father Theodore. But we killed him anyway, and he told us, because when we killed him, he kind of returned to normal. He told us to come and destroy this, so we called Torres, and Tell now we're going to make things Torres. go kaboom. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. Let's do it. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. <coughs> Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos. You refuse to step into the darkness. So you try to bring me to the light. Huh? Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then. I await you. You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. Um. I'm over here, Dad. Hurry, hurry. Oh, God. Lily? You're here. Chapter 12. Bottomless Pit. I reckon I can do this before this big guy gets there. I suppose you got to, uh... Over here, Dad! Over here, Dad! That way. Got our head in.
This way. Mom never gave up. Not like you. She tried to tell you. But you were too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. My was succeeding where you failed. You refused to listen. You lost them both, and then became lost yourself. You know anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. Got it. Down the stairs. Is it really you? Why is that? Is that a throne? Lily! No! Lily! There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad, you let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No, please. I I couldn't. I wanted to. of the past uh, unless you join me. do that and i can make your dreams come true together we can take lily from my life. once i have the power of the core you will be truly free no. it will take more than bullets to stop me will you never learn <gasps> you sh shot me Sebastian, why? No, no. Oh, no. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here.
You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you all right? You've been working, You've been working too, too hard. hard. It's making it's you making delirious. delirious. <sighs> Myra? Torres, where? Dude, you're definitely not still there. Can you? Dude, I'm we've home. done this. No, we're not. How did I? He's a bit of an idiot sometimes, isn't he? Lily's realm, just the way it used to be. I wish it had stayed. Oh, here we go. That letter. Myra's last communication. It was hidden with her files. Back upstairs, maybe? It sounded so crazy at the time. Oh. I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you from either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please, find justice for Lily and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. So messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I failed you. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I failed everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing, it's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. 
It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. There are too many forces against you. We have to stay strong. I'm really confused. Don't let the past defeat you. Don't let me defeat you. I forgive you. Oh. And Lily will too. But the most important thing is that you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Oh yes. She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. No, I tried no. to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Oh, for God's sake, man. We just had that Again. moment very far. Uh... No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. It's time to clean house. I've just got to find Theodore. That's not the problem. Destroying Liam's machine worked. Theodore is out there in the open now. The problem is getting to him. What do you mean? I picked this up on the exterior surveillance system cameras. Have a look. Theodore's stronghold appeared in the middle of Union. But it's surrounded by what looks like a massive wall of fire. Shit. I won't be able to get through it. I think that there may be a way. I found a device in Liam's equipment room that should be able to help. Great. Let's see it. It's not quite ready. I still have to do a few tweaks. Okay. Go do what you have to do. I remember there being a hotel near there. I'll go check if it's safe, then send you the coordinates. You can meet me there with the device. Okay, I'll see you soon. Be soon. Chapter 30. Oh, we got her gun. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. I'll make sure you didn't die for nothing. I'm gonna hunt him down like the dog that he is.
Okay, guys, we're gonna end this episode right here. R.I.P. Torres. She was an awesome character. Probably of all the people we've met so far, probably the most awesome character. But that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, go down below the video. Hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed the series, make sure you subscribe. We are closing on the end now. I think three or four more chapters. So have yourselves a nice day and bye bye